even wants to pass laws to outlaw red meat to stop climate change. And she is... You know what that means? That means no more cows. You know, this is serious. Now, this means no more cows. I guess eventually she's going to mean no more people, right? No more people. Yes, you heard that right. Republican candidate and former US President Donald Trump seemingly suggested that if red meat consumption is banned, cows might eventually replace humans. Welcome to This Week on the Internet, where I'll take you through what's been doing the rounds online this week. Following President Joe Biden's decision not to run in the 2024 election, Vice President Kamala Harris is anticipated to be the Democratic candidate opposing Trump. In a speech in Charlotte, North Carolina, Trump accused Harris of intending to pass laws to outlaw red meat, which he claimed could lead to cows taking over. He also seems to believe that the fictional cannibal serial killer Hannibal Lecter is real. Staying with our American friends for this next one, and President Biden recently made his first appearance since his announcement in a speech at the White House, accompanied by videos and photos. However, the internet wouldn't be the internet without conspiracy theories running wild on social media. The main theory suggests that Biden's speech wasn't really him, but rather an AI impersonation. It's been the honor of my life to serve as your president. But in the defense of democracy, which is at stake, I think is more important than any title. Another theory is that the White House has a body double for him while he recovers from his illness. A video shared by the Twitter account Amuse went viral, garnering tens of millions of views and fueling the spread of these theories, particularly the latter. The video showed Biden greeting the press with the caption, Biden grew a few inches while he was missing for five days. And the internet is certainly attempting to provide evidence for these conspiracies. Moving on, following the president's major announcement that he will not seek re-election and will instead support Kamala Harris as the Democrat nominee, the internet was flooded with a greatest hits collection of Kamala memes. And this included the famous, we did it. We did it, we did it, Joe. You're gonna be the next president of the United States. <laughs> Mamala. I've been thinking that we really yeah. all need a tremendous yeah. hug in the world right now. Yeah. But in our country, we need you to be Mamala of the country. Yeah. And of course. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> you exist in the context of all in which you live and what came before you. More troublingly, a doctored image began circulating on social media, falsely showing the vice president with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. The original photo, taken in 2015 at a black tie event with our husband Douglas Emhoff, was debunked as having been edited to include Epstein's face. Harris's ex-profile has since embraced the Brat summer trend, inspired by Charlie XCX's recent album titled Brat. The album's artwork features a simple lime green square with all lowercase text in the centre using an aerial font. And the header of Kamala's HQ campaign account now bears a striking resemblance to this artwork. She's also just hopped on TikTok, likely to ride the wave of memes backing her presidential bid. This move comes despite the fact that President Joe Biden has passed a law demanding that its Chinese owner sell the app or risk it being banned. So, it's raised a few eyebrows. Madam Vice President, are you on TikTok? Well, I've heard that recently I've been on the For You page, so I thought I'd get on here myself. Donald Trump's vice presidential running mate, J.D. Vance, has also been a hot topic of conversation. The Ohio senator has drawn attention for claiming Britain is an Islamist country and suggesting that Democrats would call drinking Mountain Dew racist. Most notably, he is being roasted online over a debunked rumour that he was intimate with an inside-out latex glove shoved between two sofa cushions. 
According to fact checkers, the false claim was made by Twitter or X user Rick Rude's calves on July 15th, the same day that Trump announced Vance as his running mate. But this isn't the only questionable thing that has him trending this week. Let's take a look at this. We're effectively run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs, by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable at their own lives and the choices that they've made. And so they want to make the rest of the country miserable, too. And it's just a basic fact. You look at Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, AOC, the entire future of the Democrats is controlled by people without children. And how does it make any sense that we've turned our country over to people who don't really have a direct stake in it? In this resurfaced clip from 2021, J.D. Vance told former Fox News host Tucker Carlson that the country was run by a bunch of childless cat ladies, specifically naming Vice President Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, and other Democrat leaders. When, in reality, Harris has two stepchildren with her husband, while Buttigieg has two adopted children. This clip has sparked engagement from lots of single women with cats on X. And it seems the Swifties have also been stirred by the viral video. Now, this next one is from an account on TikTok called Click Up, who describe themselves satirically as actual footage of the corporate world. Although all of their videos do quite well on the app, one video has particularly taken the algorithm by storm, with over 11 million views and nearly 750,000 likes. The video is meant to be of HR giving a speech to company employees, but they've tried to do it in an innovative and engaging way. Let's take a look. Don't go breaking protocols. Please stick to the handbooks and the training you're used to. I see you stealing print of paper, think you won't get caught, but I will report you. File a claim, file a claim. You've got a laceration by workers' compensation. You should file a claim. Please log out before you go, go. Protect sensitive company info. These are places not to pack. My neck, my back. These all are right, guys, all right, all right. That's enough from HR. Now on to finance. Money, 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 money. Money. Well, that's it for this week on the internet. We'll see you next week.